across the board. So. And what you want to do when you put these on is kind of mash them in so they don't slide down. Okay. Actually, you know what, I'm going to take this one out just because it'll be easier for you guys to understand. Um, <clears throat> okay, so, all right. So you start with the color that you can see, that you think you can see and make. All right, so I'm going to start. So we don't have a bright, bright sunny day. We have a very sort of hazy So I'm going to start the top of my wave velocity. So, so if you guys just watch, nobody talk while I'm doing this because I can't walk and shoot them at the same time and um, <coughs> we'll figure it all out. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit, but not a lot. So, so I want you to leave a white space between all of your color notes. And the reason for that is so that when you go back and change your color, you won't be um, muddying it up with other colors. And then you want to go adjacent to the notes that you've put down so that you can compare them to each other. I'm going to go um, So don't worry about drawing, just put down color notes. Don't worry about drawing. Just go ahead and put down your, your notes. It shouldn't be too articulated on the first pass. This is just my first notes, so I'm not going to worry about drawing it or anything like that.
first notes down. Um, it's not a real bright sunny day, so it's not going to be as you know, overcolored as it would be. But the sun is out somewhat, so. Then after you get all your notes down, I'm not quite finished, but after you get all your notes down, um, I'm not trying to put too many colors in each note at first because um, I'm going to go around my board again, but I want to state the first notes really quickly because um, I don't have to spend too much time on them. Then I've left little marks between here, which you want to do. And you want to do the notes all adjacent to each other so you can compare. Is this bluer than this, redder than this, pinker than this, is this warmer than this, like that. Um, so your first <coughs> notes should be like this, just kind of indicating what you think the color might be. And then when you go around again, you can get it more accurate. Sorry I'm messing up your palette, Lori. No, you're fine. So when I go around a second time and change it a little bit and get the color notes maybe a little more accurate the second time around. So, if the sun's hitting a blue block or a blue tabletop, it's going to read sunny. So, you want to make sure that you don't make it dark blue because this shadow note right here is like a dark blue. So, if you look across this, <coughs> you can see the light hitting it, the sunlight, which is a warm color, so that this looks kind of violety on the top. Can you guys see that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, because if it was blue on the top, like it would look like this. Right. And this is the color that you guys want to make it, all right? You guys want to make this dark blue. Well, that's not going to read sunny. We don't have light to paint with. We have paint to paint with. So to paint the illusion of light. So we're painting the sun hitting this. So the inside color, the paint color of this, like out of the paint can, would be like a dark blue. <laughs> But the sun is hitting this. So you see the difference between this really dark blue and this? That's because the sun's hitting it. So look across this. Come down and look across this table. You see how much the sun's hitting that? You see that, you guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have to find a color to indicate that. So when you bring it inside, it will hold in the sun. So we're going to put a little bit of bluish, a little bit of cool color in it, but we're not going to make it cold. We're just going to make it like this for now. So, and the same thing with this. This is going to be, this has a lot of, if you look across that block, look across it. You see that? Look across this block. You see how warm that is? It's different than this. But it's kind of yellowy. Mm -hmm, I don't know mm -hmm. if y'all can see that, but that's what that's what we're starting with because we see that we know that it's there. So we're gonna start with that, and then this is reflecting not only this, but it's reflecting the sky, whatever's going on in the sky. So we have this white block now, and we have this blue in front of it. And if I move this, can you see the color of this change? Watch. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. See that? And we'll do it again. You see how blue it looks right now? It looks very bluish. 
Because it's picking up this. the blue from the table top. That's right. And we put this back. Now it turns almost. It now it's a much different color. If we put something else there, ah. now it becomes violet. You see? If we put something else there, then it becomes red. Mm. You see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's all about the relationships of the colors in the thing that you're painting. If you pick this up and put it somewhere else, it's going to be completely different colors. But this, if you're painting a landscape, it's going to be all the things in the landscape relating to each other. All those color relationships are important. So, when you come back around it again, um, I'm not making it real, real contrasty because today it's not real contrasty. Somewhat. But this overcast sky is causing it to be less so than it would be on a bright sunny day. On a bright sunny day, it would be jumping off the board because the sun would be impacting it so strongly. But today, We want to show the sun. Now, if you have a bright yellow like that, you can use even a, you'll see this, even a red. I just mix up some red and white. Even the red against that will be cool. You see that? Yeah. So you don't necessarily have to put blue in it. Um, but I wouldn't actually, you guys, today, I wouldn't put too much blue in it, but you could put a little bit of blue in it. But I think I would maybe go for an, a different cool color if I were you, because I don't know if you'll be able to really, see I can do it and still make it hold in the light, so you want to still make it hold in the light when you put down whatever you put in it. I'm going to change this note a little bit. It's got a blue in it. See, that's what happens if you don't leave a white line. Then you get all muddy. You get all your color mixed up in there. And you don't want that. <coughs> so, I'm going to move on. I'm going to come, because I'll come around again. I don't have to get it perfect right now. Now, this shadow in here has a lot of red in it because of this. You guys see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, because if I put this here, then it becomes really blue. But it's got this. See the difference? I don't know if you can, but there's a big difference. So, for making it a kind of a... So this red block has got a lot of warm color in it, but it's also got a lot of cool color in it. So we're not going, we're not doing, um, you know, we're not doing chromatic color changes, like value changes, like light red, dark red, middle red. We're not doing that. Um, It's much different than this note on the front. The note on the front is just picking up a lot of color from the table, so it's blue. You see that? It's just blue. I don't know if you guys can see that, but when I put it down, you should be able to see it a little bit. It's real different than this note on the top. So then this one, as we saw, is getting that kind of uh, greenish color in it. But it's a white block, so it's not going to be the same as this one. But it is getting that warm color.
So you can mix right on the board if you want to. You can bring your color up there and you can mix right on the board. You don't have to mix on your palette. You can mix right up here. And that's actually more accurate a lot of times. So now I'm going to take that red that we saw before because it's kind of cool. And I'm going to put it up here because this is kind of more... See what I did because I didn't leave my white line? All right. I'm going to put it up here on top of this white block because it's a kind of pale day. It's not, and this shadow is not this distinct. It is there, but it's not that distinct because you know, it's just not a sunny day, unfortunately. So I'm gonna make it a lot lighter. Actually, you know what's happening? I think the shadow's changing. Let me move in a little bit. <coughs> See, this is the problem with days like this, is the light goes in and out, mm -hmm. and you lose your, your, uh, your first round perspective. So, it's this color, but it's not quite that deep, so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to do some blue in there. blue in here but it's pretty it's pretty warm because it's got this it's got this shadow this red block right here and then this red block is what's really really intense but it's got a lot of blue in it so I'm gonna get this side which also has quite a bit of blue going up into it it's actually in the shadow more mm -hmm. Here. And then the top is a little bit. The top is. See now it's changing again. I'm not going to work on this really, really long anyway, but I'm just going to show you a little bit. This is how you begin. I just want you to see how to begin with this. And I really want you to do it this way. I want you to make sure. See, this has a little bit of bluish color right along the edge of it. Kind of a, almost like a blue way in here. So when you go around to your like third or fourth pass, then you'll be able to begin to see some <coughs> variations within the mass, within the shadow mass, within the light plane. You'll be able to begin to see some variations in there. Um, so um, and I see that it, there's a little more. some light back there and there's some shade back there and you'll see that when you come to do your painting that, that, that it but if it's mostly shade put shade if it's mostly light put light This is how you begin to learn to see color. 
is make your relationships, like relate one note to the next note. So I go, you know, is this cooler than this? Is this warmer than this? Um, I ask myself these questions as I go. Is this bluer than this? Is this redder than this? Is this redder than this? Is this redder than this? I ask myself these questions and this is how I figure out what color it is because this is how you learn to see it. This is not necessarily the same color as this, but I'm not going to get into fine variations in there right now. So when I do this, then I see, well, it's a little bit close to that, so that can't be. If I look at this and this, then this begins to be a little bit, for some reason, I don't know why. Sometimes you don't know, it's just the way it is. A little green on it here. Don't worry about mis mixing, like, a cool color into a warm color. And, you know, they tell you in art school that you can't do that, but they're wrong. They don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you ever mix white on the board? Are you always applying just a color to mix on the board? I don't know. There's no, you know, see, that's the thing with this. That is, there's no rule. I mean, sometimes I might do it one way, sometimes I might do it another way. You just have to get to the right color, and mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter how you get there. Mm -hmm. You know, you can try a little of this, try a little of that, you know, and eventually you get there, but... Is there anything about holding the palette knife that gives you that no. smoothness? <laughs> no. <laughs> no technique. No, you can do it with a putty knife. Mary Marina does it with a putty knife. It doesn't matter as long as you get the color on it. Told you it was mm. a putty knife. Okay. <laughs> okay. I did that with her yesterday. Oh my God, it was fun. Okay, let's just watch because otherwise we will get distracted and we won't learn anything. Okay. All right, I'm not going to do too much more. I just wanted to show you, you know, this is like all, is, if you squint, squint at this, squint your eyes. Okay, you see the darks and lights? How, the, how dark the darks go and how light the lights go? You see that with your eyes squinted? Mm -hmm. That's how it is. All right, that's how it is. So you want to get that. You want to try to get that. Okay, you guys, go for it.